So let's just try and work through this a little bit based on the instructions that you've you've mentioned in that in, in that post. So what I've done is I put an SGLX file in a folder here and I've called this this is in a folder called the initial drop. Then what I've done I've created another folder called updated file and in there I've contained I've provided the same file but this one's translated this one's got the first three segments with some content in it whereas this initial drop is completely empty. So I'm just going to start with this initial drop because this is what it looks like you've been given. So following your instructions, Studio is open. So now we double click the working document. So I double click it. Notice what's happening while I'm doing this. Studio is doing a bit of work here. I'm not going to edit this at all. I'm going to let this happen in real time because I think it's quite important. So I'm going to take it like this. I'm going to go to my project settings. Let's use a translation engine. I'm going English, English Hungarian just for a bit of fun. Okay. okay. So I'll work down through this file. I'll do a little bit of work on it. I've got look ahead turned off so it's a little slow. So let's just make sure we do a few more than just the first three. Okay, that'll do. So I've done those files. I'll press control to save it because that's what they suggested. And um, I close the file. Now what I've actually got, when I look here, you can see I've got the single file project with the name of the file, which is probably the sort of thing you get. And if I go back to my file explorer, you can see I've got the project file and I've got this here. Now, what they're saying is, is that when you get the updated file, you double click the file. Now, what I'm not unclear on is, are they telling you to overwrite this file or are they telling you just to double click it? Um, I'm a bit confused by that, but let me show you what happens if I just double click it. If I just double click this file, it's the same file name, so if I double click it, Studio is going to go through a few motions here. And it's opened that file up. Now this has got less translated than the one you before. That's because we're now opening the new one you've got. So it's a different file. But an important thing to note here, what also has happened, if I go to my project settings, I've no longer got my machine translation engine here. And actually, if I'd created some settings in here, or some verification settings, if I'd gone through and specified something particular in here, none of those will be there either. You will have just lost all of these because you're now starting again with whatever updated file they get there, that they gave you. If I close that file, and back in my projects view, you can actually see now I've also got two projects now. Uh, this is the one now because this is the active one. So just let me delete that a second. I'll just remove it from the list anyway. So it's not interfering with me. And if I come back to here and I'll delete that project file in my updated, in my updated file folder. This time what I'll do is I'll overwrite the one that I had before. Uh, I should better just sit that up for a second because I want to play with that in a minute. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take this one and I'll copy it over into the other side and overwrite the one that's there. So this now should be the updated one and if I double click this one again it goes through the process Trying to start studio, loading the plugins. This is really slow. The three files are there, so it's overwritten it, so that's good if I go to my project settings. I've also lost my project settings, which is really bizarre. If I go to here, And I've got another program here, another um, pro project again. So this is why I would not follow that logic. I think it's crazy. You're going to end up with potentially loads of projects and things all over the place. 
So let me just um, start again. I'll leave that updated file there. We'll play with that in a second. Let me just delete this one. Sorry, I just need to get back to where I was and I've forgotten what I did. <laughs> so I'm going to take unzip this one. Okay, delete that zip so I don't forget where I was. Okay, and if I come to here, just open that a second. Let me just clear the target segments, save the file, close it, and remove it. And just delete that project file. Okay, so that gets me back to where I, to where I was. So I've got in my updated file, I've got that updated file, which is different to this one. This one now currently is a brand new SGLX file that has not been translated. So here's how I think you should work with it. So I'm just going to hit F1 because that remembers that path there. So it's nice and easy for me. I'm going to use Control Shift O, which is a keyboard shortcut. Control V, paste the path in and open it. So there's the SGLX file just opening up now. Nice and quick, didn't have to go through the motion of starting studio again. I'm going to go to my project settings. I'm going to use um, translation memory provider just to get some translations in there. I'll go through and do a few of these translations. More than three anyway, that's the, um, the important thing. And I'm going to Control S to save it and close. Now this folder here, bigger test, this contains that project and in here I've now got the project file that relates to that. I can now forget this file here just for the time being anyway. If I want to come back into that file, I don't double click that one. I just open the project, double click the file. So that's quick and it's exactly where I am. And in my project settings, I've still got the project settings which I'd set previously. If I get an updated version of this file, and keep in mind that the updated one I'm about to use here has got less in it than the one I've just translated. I just want to demonstrate the difference. If I come here now and I take the updated file and I just, in fact, what I could do is I could take this one, rename it and just say a ridge. I could do, I could overwrite it, but I don't need to and copy this one in. So I put the updated file in the same folder and now come back to here again. And when I double click this file, what I'm going to see is the updated file. Really quick, it opens up and I go to the project settings and the project settings are still there. So I would never double click the files in File Explorer. I would always work for them within Studio because there's a lot of additional information that Studio holds linked to that project. And you only want one project, you don't want multiple projects. So if they're going to keep changing the file all the time, but the file name is the same, I would just replace the file that's in there. And you could rename them with some sort of a numbering system. It could be drop one, drop two, drop three, drop four, for as many different versions as you get. And then it even allows you to keep the history of the file. There are other ways to track history, but that's um, a simplified way of doing it. And that is the way I would work. And that's why I wouldn't use the method that is, has been described to you. I hope that helps and I didn't waffle too much.